Respectfully. Respectfully. The dead Ted guy? Fuck him. <clears throat> so an Overwatch YouTuber um watched my TikTok. Video's got a hundred and twenty thousand views. So let's react to that. Now, last time he reacted to one of my TikToks, he didn't necessarily agree with all of it. He he basically did one thing. He was like, well, that's kind of true. But then he shat on the rest of it. So me and this guy will probably never, ever, ever get along. Which is fine. I like flats. Is the big guy? Yeah, it's flats. So... I'm going to skip the first part until he gets to my video. Here it is. So yeah, it is the big guy. Yeah, I like Flats a lot. He's a good he's a good content creator. People think he's a shill. I don't think he's a shill. I think he um I think he turns a blind eye to a lot of the things Blizzard does. I'm more like honed in on the monetization part of Overwatch 2. And he has, like, a, a hand in, like, everything. He kind of looks at some of the monetization. He looks at the the PvP the element. He looks at how they're marketing the game, like, this, 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 and stuff. I'm looking at how they're monetizing the game. So, I think he and I will probably never get along because I'm on the side of, Blizzard, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you doing this? And then he's on the side of, pretty much, from what I from what I understood last time, it's like, they're doing their best, or something like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just waiting for the ad to be done before we click on this. So, give about 20 seconds. Pre-rolls will be off, and then if anyone joins in, they'll know. So, let's see. Ads are 10 seconds. We can start watching. So I made a video critiquing the One Punch Man skins for Overwatch 2, and to no one's surprise, people rushed to defend the billion dollar company that's cutting corners. So he's not gonna like this. <laughs> this so I'll, I'll admit, I'll admit, that part was definitely antagonistic, but I didn't care. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't even seen the original, but I'm gonna be real with you. As one of the Overwatch content creators who does a little bit of everything, I do a little bit of ranked, I do a little spectating, I do a little like news reporting. Uh, What's your favorite golden gun? I don't have one off the top of my head. I do a little bit of, uh, you know, streaming, YouTube, shorts. Yeah, he's got a hand uh, in a everything. Bit of watch bro. parties for Overwatch League if they have them. I've done a little bit of everything. There's definitely valid criticisms to be made in certain things, but I will tell you right now, I have been called both a blizzard shill i have been called somebody who hates the game and is only here to farm a paycheck i don't actually like overwatch i've been told uh that i hate the game so why do i play it i've been told that i'm getting paid off like it, it does not matter no matter what side i'm on if Bro, I i've been told that too if you hate the game so much why do you play it because i like overwatch i'm supporting decisions they make or against decisions they make. No matter what, you're always the bad guy. No matter what. Just to at least some, some people. I can pr I can literally confidently tell Jeez. you I have never been paid. Ever. Actually, I, I made sandwiches. more money from Apex. It's my, one of my funniest stories. Is I got paid 500 bucks in to season TikTok. 10 of Apex to go test, test out Ash in the new map for like four hours. I think I had to watch like an hour presentation and then I played on like a test server for three hours. First hour, I didn't even play. Some other person was on my account, actually. They gave me the same account as somebody else. And then I ended up kicking them off their account after an hour. So they went to go get food. And then they came back and they fought with me for like 20 minutes, signing each other in and out. They paid me 500 bucks. Blizzard has never paid me a fucking dollar. Here's the deal. We don't even have creator codes. If we had creator codes, dude, you get a video every week talking about the new skins and stuff like that with code flats at least then if you could call me a shill and i would actually get paid but here's the cap he keeps doing that Stop like this lowering the quality. it's the same old song and dance if you don't agree with their opinion and let's say
So, so he didn't watch the first video, so there's context he probably doesn't have. In the first video, I was basically saying something like, uh, if, if I remember correctly, it was like, the excuse or the idea that the, the reason why these skins are cutting corners or why these skins are a bit lazy and underperform, in my opinion, are because they're trying to... The, the, this ideology they have that these new, like, collaboration skins are supposed to be something that's, like... They're, they're supposed to go in on it, but they don't want to ruin the identity of the characters. My first video was saying, how is that a thing? We have people running around as every kind of character in Fortnite. People don't... You know, people see someone over there that's a player. My point was, you know, they've already done it before. If they do it again, it's not going to be a big deal because people understand the bigger dude in the lobby. Hey, that's a Reinhardt. I'm not like, like that was my point. So he didn't see that. And then people, people were still fucking saying like, well, blah, 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 blah. They're trying not to ruin the character, blah, 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 blah. So that's why I started this video with people are defending a billion dollar company, a multi-billion dollar company because they were. The, the reasoning they've given for why these skins, X, Y, and Z skins, don't look as good as they should is because they don't want it to ruin the characters. And I think that's a shit excuse for how lazy they are. They're, they're critical and they're like, oh, the, 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 the event sucked. And you're like, no, I think the event's pretty good. Then you're a shill, right? That's, that's just uh, that's like, not what I'm never saying, win. though. All right, let's see the rest of this. Let me make this perfect. Sorry, I... I let me replay it because I stopped for so long. So I made a video critiquing the One Punch Man skins for Overwatch 2. And to no one's surprise, people rush to defend the billion dollar company that's cutting corners. Let me make this perfectly clear. Reusing assets in games happens a lot. And it can be excusable and necessary sometimes. But it's honestly so frustrating to see them take the Bug Hero skin and recolor most of it. Even down to the scratches on the armor you can see. They give them a new belt and a helmet and call it a new skin. They did the same thing with Kiriko. They stripped her leggy. The Kiriko one I could kind of understand. The, I feel like the legs make up. Someone said, wow, reaching, at least it's free. Yeah, the, the, the soldier one isn't the main point, but but I'll get into that in a second. For it. I'm just saying. Kings gave her a wig and called it a legendary skin for $20. Wait, wait, wait. So people are mad at you for calling bullshit and they are all getting pissed? I don't think they're getting pissed. I think, well, I don't know. He's reacting right now, but... Uh, so, so I already kind of, I kind of watched it, but I, I just kind of glanced over it. So we're kind of rewatching it more in depth. Uh, I think he misses. He's gonna miss my points. You'll see what I mean. So, like, he he says that. So, so like, here's what I'm saying. This is a skin. You see her on on the screen right now with the wig and the the this coloring. They're saying this is worth twenty dollars, right? This is a twenty dollar skin. This is how she normally looks with with without the wig, right? Without the wig and the legs, this is uh this is this is basically how her normal costume looks. So, so my my point was they're painting it black, so they basically took off her leggings and gave her a wig. With the, I feel like the legs make it, up for it. Painted I'm it black saying. and then they made it $20 over a wig and called it a legendary skin for $20. And people like to say, well, they don't want to ruin the figure of the characters. It's a poor excuse. And to that I say, make me a- No, it's not. That they Yes, it is. They were, I can tell you from experience and talking to certain people at Blizzard, they were trying to find a balance of not being confused of who you're fighting and keeping the character identity while also incorporating the skins. So this is where I disagree. I, 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 this is where I completely disagree with him. Because I'll show an example in a second. Their, their idea of cosplaying was so smart, right? Because know. the idea was come a year or two from now, if they do multiple collabs, it's not like Fortnite where it's like you bump into Goku and you're like, oh, sh fighting Goku. You can, Well, what if you're fighting Reinhardt Goku? You can't tell who it is. Like, you're like, who the f is that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to. See, this This is why this is such a, like, he. he's, he's like the main reason right now is why I don't agree with, with the idea of, you, you don't want to ruin the figure of a character. Bro, but like Discord mod, you're not be talking. I don't think that's... No, no. He's one of the biggest Overwatch content creators. He works really hard. I don't I don't think we should insult how he looks. Um, That's, that's not okay. But uh, his point, I just don't agree with. I fundamentally don't agree with the idea that if we make the characters look more... Less like Overwatch characters and more like other characters... It's going to ruin the game. 
still be able to tell who the characters are at all times with a very quick glance. And they've always done that for all of their skins, and they wanted to keep that as well for um, for this, this crossover. And it was their first iteration with it, so can you really blame them for being a little bit more... They're probably for it, just hold tab to know who you're fighting. Counterpoint Junker Queen Silhouette still doesn't read well. People are going to sick when they don't have those skins. Are reserved with it? Because I don't. Making a proper suit for soldiers and giving Kirko an actual dress. So this is the actual dress the character they're supposed to be cosplaying. Yeah, he's reacting to my clip. He completely disagrees with what I do. So so he so this is her actual dress, right? This is what I think they should do. They should give her sleeves and maybe cut out her dress so it looks like that, right? This is the skin they gave her. They 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 gave her her regular skin, her regular outfit, and they painted it black. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" I was like, "Are you kidding me?" I was like, "Why don't they give her sleeves and make give her an actual dress? If you're going to cost, if you're going to charge $20 for it, why don't you make it worth twenty dollars? And the idea that it's gonna ruin the figure of the character. It's gonna ruin the character. No, it's not. Keep her gloves if you have to. Uh keep the little shit around her waist. Just put her in a dress. It's not gonna ruin the figure of the character, right? I think I think that idea is such a poor excuse. And then I even brought up like a, an example, like another skin where it's like, hey, why don't you uh do what these other skins did? I'll show you in a second, but yeah, he just fundamentally didn't agree the character identity while also incorporating the skins it, that's their their idea of cosplaying was so smart right because the idea was come a year or two from now if they do multiple collabs it's not like fortnite where it's like you bump into goku and you're like oh shit, fighting goku you well what if you're fighting reinhardt goku you can't tell who it is like you're like who the fuck is that like you know what i mean like you have to still be able to tell who the characters are at all times with a very quick glance so, so he's like coming it from like the competitive angle, which I guess is fair, right? Like, but but even then, you know what each and every character does, right? Each character has distinct footsteps. Each character has distinct abilities. I think it's very hard to confuse a a Reinhardt for any other character in the game because he's the only one swinging around a giant fucking hammer. But but whatever. That's that's the one thing I can kind of agree with. And then even then, I think the the workaround, which is probably a little bit complicated, but just make it so collab skins aren't allowed in like top tier ranked gameplay. What's going on? This guy's reacting to my clip where I shat on the skins. And they've always done that for all of their skins, and they wanted to keep that as well for um for this this crossover. And it was their first iteration with it. So. Bro, it's not that deep skins are skins. Like bro's taking this way too seriously. Well, I'm the one who's taking it more seriously than anyone else. I'm the one who's looking at it and saying, if you're charging $20 for it, it shouldn't be a reskin. That's where my point is. Like, so this is, again, this is her base outfit. This is the outfit they're selling for $20. This is what her skin normally looks like without the coloring. And where is it? That's her default skin. So I'm saying, if you're just going to take off her leggings and give her a wig and paint it black... It should be worth twenty dollars, and I think the the excuse they make where it's like, well, uh, we we don't want to ruin the figure, of the characters. It's like, what are you talking about? Reserved with it because I don't. I haven't bought the skins yet, but because I have fear of missing out, and Blizzard has a fucking terrible, terrible track record of keeping the intellectual properties to crossovers. Like Lego is a big example. The Breast Cancer Mercy skins a big example. Uh, I'm going to get it, but don't buy them. You'll just be a hypocrite. I guess. I I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy them. I'm just saying that my, my the whole point is they should be worth. They should be more worth it, right? And people, because people make the value. Well, it's whatever you want it to be worth, right? I have some extra spending money. Who cares if I spend it? I like the skins. I'm gonna get the skins. I like some of the skins. I like the Doomfist skin. I uh I don't mind the soldier skin. I don't mind the Kiriko skin. But if I'm looking at it critically, for twenty dollars there should be more to it. For twenty dollars they shouldn't reskin it. For twenty dollars it shouldn't be the exact same value 
as the Hanzo Valentine skin that probably had months of time put into it. They're going to tell me that the Kiriko reskin is the exact same value as a Hanzo Valentine skin? There's no fucking way. And part of it is because the way Blizzard fucking charges every single new skin that comes out, they mark the 1900 uh, Overwatch coins price tag on it, and then everyone buys it. So it's like, it's they are never going to change the value if people don't start speaking up and say, what the fuck? How are you charging $20 for this if you're not even putting the effort into it? How are you going to tell me this skin, which is 10 hundred times better than this one, is 20 bucks, and the skin you barely put any effort into, recolor it, throw a wig on it, is 20 bucks? Like That's the whole point I'm making. But they're overworked. I They might be. That's the one thing I do feel a little bit bad about. But then the other example is, if they are going to be making all this fucking money off of Overwatch, hire some fucking talent to help work on the game. Because I genuinely feel like the team is just struggling to make this work after the lawsuit happened and they lost all of their talent. They lost the main hero director. They lost the game director. They lost the uh, community manager, Jeff Kaplan, rest in peace. He's not dead, but he's gone. They lost so many of their heavy hitters, which is why Overwatch 2 has felt stinky since it's come out. And give him Kiriko an actual dress. For which, is why, which is why we're going to go into season 4 with matchmaking still being fucked. It's been fucked for three seasons. They're they're struggling, bro. I'm going to ruin the character's identity because if you make that argument, then why was it okay for him to be a bug hero? Why is it okay for him to be a bug hero in the first place? Because the he's the exact same build with a helmet on. So that's what I'm saying. If you have Kirko the exact same build with a dress on, it's not going to change the character. That's what I'm saying. So so this is why this works, right? Bro. Come on, dude. I, I he completely misses the point here. This is like I, this is like getting hit with a in the head with a bucket, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Again, I said again. Genji's completely changed as a Power Ranger. They put all that attention into Genji being a Power Ranger. They gave Kiriko a witch hat. The figure kind of changes, but you could tell it's Kiriko. It's fucking flats. What do you expect? I don't know. I just think it's crazy for him. Like he he completely like. He starts seeing red here and completely misses the entire point of what I'm saying. What do you mean? Is it okay for Genji to be a Power Ranger? Because again, again, it's you could it, you could clearly still tell this is Genji, but they put him in a Power Ranger outfit. It would be the exact same way. You could still tell it's Kiriko if they gave Kiriko an actual fucking dress with sleeves to look more like Tatsumaki. It's all it is is a helmet and color change. He still I got the same hate physique. This part, the dude. swords. He moves like hello. Be a Power Ranger. Oh, come on, bro! He's missing the How point. are you going to say this is that much different? Because she has a hat? Nah, dude, you're... you're He's reaching. missing the point. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Oh! He's completely missing the point, dude. Looks and identities? No. The BlizzCon skins? Again, BlizzCon skins. You're telling me from a glance you can tell this is Genji? People thought this was Hanzo at a glance. You're telling me from a glance you could tell this is Symmetra and not a World of Warcraft character? Chad is a bunch of sheeple? <laughs> like, this guy is dumb. <laughs> this guy is dumb. But, but like, this is what I'm... I thought that was Moira, what the fuck? Yeah, but it doesn't fucking matter because the moment you start playing the game and you see that this player moves as fucking... Symmetra walks like Symmetra, looks like Symmetra, has voice lines like Symmetra. You can tell it's fucking Symmetra. You can tell it's fucking Genji when you see him wall riding. Like, like that's that's the whole point I'm making. They've done it before. They could do it again. The Starcraft skins that are really you're having a, you're you're gonna have a hard time figuring out who this is, right? He, he's the, the thing is because I read the comments too before this. People said I am making, he is making my point for me, and he doesn't realize it. The armor isn't totally the same. I'll drink some water. But the only difference is the helmet, right? Come on. Skins that are already in the game, bro. Oh, my apologies for the really, really confusing blonde Widowmaker. Yeah, because when women dye their hair i completely don't know who they are anymore i go holy shit, who's that what happened see he has completely missed the point and now he's just shitting on the video 
who, who, who are you? If my mom ever walks in my house and she dyes her hair, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, an intruder. Like, hello? Even then people wait, is that mercy? <laughs> I, I seen a comment I read before, before this, it was like, you know, I didn't know who that was until they shot me in the head and I was walking back from spawn. I realized in an instant that was Widow. It takes, it takes a second, a second to realize, oh, that's fucking Widow. Because each character has a distinct movement. And it's like, <laughs> oh God, dude. You can press tab. That's another thing. You can just press tab. But it's like, I, I, I don't get it, bro. I genuinely don't get it. Oh, already in the game where overwatch characters are basically carbon copies of other characters there just should have been more to this some cool sound effects or voice lines like we've seen in other skins like pink mercy i think there is there's not on the doom one there is i think wait 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 a minute wait, wait a minute this again, is the first time i've ever he is completely missing the point here he's gonna shit on this because i mentioned that this th this skin has unique voice lines to it and unique sound effects to it I respect the 10% of chat that's just shitting on me. Yeah, dude. They're literally just shitting on me. But I've seen they called me new. I think some guy said I had a small penis, dude. I've seen everything from this. Oh, not you? Oh, are they shitting on flats? I didn't see. I don't know. Wow, her hair changed. I don't know who this new hero is, Macho. I heard somebody reference the medic break skin as good. I didn't, so I think the medic break skin is a good skin. Do I think it is the the controversy around it fucking sucked why the fuck did he call himself flats i don't know this was one of the most controversial skins of all time this was literally one of the most controversial first off this skin right here helped me pay off my student loan debt this was one of the best things that has ever happened to me as a creator and other creators in this community people were so mad about this skin it wasn't even funny I've never seen that skin. It's fugly. I'm not talking about, like, even if you don't like the skin, I'm talking about the the sound effects that are involved in the skin. She has her own unique voice line when she heals someone. I think she has her own unique voice line when she alts. When she spawns in, she has her own unique voice line. There's, there's sound effects that are unique to this skin that aren't in other skins. That's what I'm making. I said, if you're going to do a crossover event, instead of recoloring, how about you put time and energy into taking ideas like this, where this skin has unique ideas and sounds to it, and apply it to the skins? But he sees it, and he thinks of the Twitch controversy, and says, No one fucking likes this skin. People were big mad that you had to gift subs to streamers on Twitch instead of paying it to, um, it to Blizzard. It went to streamers. Even and that's so cute. The I streamer, love that skin. I've never even seen it. It's program, a good skin. And you got gifted it. Oh, then you got the skin. There was one valid criticism. Valid criticism was not everyone Damn, could be I wish a part I got of it. That you had to be selected, but there were some reasons behind that that I heard. Not. I would love I mean, to like, see him react to this. I I I don't know, bro. But he 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 completely missed the points I was making. And I I understand, like, because he probably has a better idea of the Overwatch team than I do. He actually talks to people on the team, so he probably actually has an idea that they probably a little bit understaffed, which is why it takes fucking forever for development to actually go through on this game. If this game had the the workload of, like, let's just say World of Warcraft or any other big game right now, maybe not even World of Warcraft, Warcraft is slow moving, but any other big game right now, if Overwatch team had that, development would be quick, 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 but they don't have that, bro. Oh. Like, this was like from like rumors from like Twitch and stuff like that, was about money laundering, um, and they had to be really careful about who they He's going to make comments about Kirko's witch hat, but bring Medic Brig's helmet is fine. You can tell it is Brig by the way she walks and stuff like that. That's that, that just helps my point. This is what I'm saying. People don't understand the point I'm making, which is why... And then the people who do, but still say, oh, it's just the cause... It's, you know, they don't want to ruin the figure, are, are dumb. That, that's the whole point I'm making, bro. The, the you can you can you can give someone a helmet or take off their helmet and still tell hey that's Reinhardt you can't be like is that Reinhardt well his helmet's gone who's that who's that with the big hammer and the giant fucking shield who they chose and they had to be like trusted people and like you know what I mean like they had to do a vetting process for a lot of people um so I I could understand that and like that's definitely a very valid critic criticism it's not everyone who just streamed Overwatch got it or the idea of it I I don't know. 
I love the stream, uh, the idea of stream earlier. But then people also got uh, mad. People like XQC and Asmund Gold had it as like part of like their stream, hot. and then they never streamed Overwatch, so it didn't even matter. But like this was one of the most controversial. Yeah, but twenty four dollars for a skin is dumb. That is, I think you know people. I've paid more for the Reinhardt BlizzCon skin. I that's all I wanted out of the BlizzCon ticket. But uh, I think um. I don't know. My my whole point is, if you're spending twenty dollars on a skin, it shouldn't be recolored and reused assets. And you shouldn't hide behind the figure or the the. You shouldn't be fearful or hide behind the excuse of we don't want to ruin the figure, or or use that as the reason to not go all out on cosmetic skins. You bought a ticket to a convention for a skin yes? I bought a ticket to a e convention when they live streamed it in 2019. Yeah, I bought the BlizzCon ticket then for the Ryan skin virtual skins in the history of overwatch i watched um, the stream too but. and they're referencing it as a good thing and i find that fucking hysterical bruh <laughs> i fucking hate i hate see he's just wrong here bro yes the the things they did with it the the controversy behind it where they made it so streamers can only you know select streamers were only participating in it so even if I wanted, even though I've been playing the game forever, which I, I had been at that point, but there were people who had streamed the game every single fucking day for years who didn't even get to be a part of that streamer selection thing. They didn't get a chance to get some of that Twitch money. So they were pissed, rightfully so. That's the controversy he's talking about. But that's not what I was talking about. This was actually, I'll, I'll keep it real with you. This was the first skin that ever caused hate threads about me because I was like, hey, if you're looking for the break skin, like come to my stream i'm trying to pay off my student loans with it how's the youtube man he just completely missed the point which frustrates the hell out of me he started seeing red and he just started shitting on the video and like the whole point was a joke i actually wrote it on stream and i said to chat this is a bad idea i, mean, I wrote like a tweet i was like this is a bad idea chat if i hit if i send this tweet people are not going to understand the context they're not going to understand a memeing i had a whole like alert for but design wise it's honestly up there design wise medic brig skin is a is a unique it's a skin i like and it has unique stuff to it that's the whole point i was making all right it was funny as sh people got real 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 mad about it and we're like Fuck you Dude, I, I don't even want to go down that route. Big break skin. The reasoning is poor, and you can poke a million holes in it with other things that already exist in the game. I'm fine if they want to start saying they're going to make the heroes cosplay others. That's fine. But at least put some effort into the cosplay themselves. When you take an existing skin and recolor it, you I'm, can't... I'm, I'm just saying, you haven't showed the, Doom, the Doomfist one yet. Because the Doomfist skin is the best of the bunch. Yeah, there's a reason for that. I know that tell me they're putting detail or time or energy into those skins and yeah it is the free skin but they did it with kiriko which is a 20 dollars skin i like yep say something about the kiriko skin the skins personally but it's definitely frustrating to look and see how even again i i stand by the fact i like the skins i might play a game of overwatch today but it would only be for like 30 minutes because i want to check out the april fools update but other than that uh we're supposed to play flunkin's game today how they treated the Doomfist skin, built it from the ground up, showed it all. Again, they built it from the ground up. This love, attention, and respect. And then with the Kiriko and the Soldier 76 skin, they cut a lot of corners. Not to mention they're around the same price as the Cupid Hanzo skin. How do you look at all of this information and not be frustrated? That's pretty much the video. And you can also buy it as a bundle and just get them all for like 40 bucks. <laughs> just buy it as a bundle, bro. Who cares if they cut corners? It's cheaper that way. It's actually not a bad deal, to be honest. But... <laughs> You get that ugly ass Genji skin where his head looks like fucking mold. Just don't be broke. Just buy the bundle, bruh. The game's free now. Why would you complain about them cutting corners and reskinning stuff for their first ever collaboration? Just buy it. Just buy it, bro. <laughs> I don't fucking know, bruh. But like, the whole thing, it just, he missed the point. And then just started shitting on the video, bro. Let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to hit 5,000 followers. We're almost halfway. Give me a solid. Let's see the comments. Yeah, I totally agree. The collab is cool and all, but they really could have done better with the skins. Common Blizzard L. I agree. You're right and should say it. Tired of bootlickers. I hate this comment. I hate this type of idea because, like, there are people that are legitimately, like, all they do is, like, and there are, there are 
other terms in the world that this as very much applies to. But people all. Hero should have gotten a longer middle section. My only problem with the skin. All the rest seems fine. I paid less than $40 for Overwatch 1 to pay that much for three cosmetics. is disgusting. Uh, disagree equal bootlicker. Yeah, it was a little bit controvert like, uh, not controversial, uh, antagonistic, but that's how I feel, dude. I, I don't understand how people look at the points I make in this video and not, like, agree to at least some extent to what I'm saying. Yeah, give them money so they repeat doing this fucking low-effort bullshit. No one can tell me that, like, the idea that this is their first ever collaboration and they want to do their best for these characters and, and make the best out of this collaboration, you can't tell me they're doing that when they're cutting corners and recoloring shit. And then, on, on some of them, charging $20 for it and saying... This is a legendary, when it probably should have been an epic, right? But they're going to charge it as the, the 1,900 credits because that's all they do with every fucking skin that comes out now. Usually it's 1,900, 1,900, 1,900. Oh, here's a bundle. It's actually 2,200. It's like, I hate it. I hate it so much. Also weaponize it is like, oh, you just disagree with me. Like, it's like, bro, I, I have literally been one of the most outspoken people about blizzard issues and things that they've done that's f***ed up or bad and i've straight called them out on it many times but if i'm like nah i don't think this one's actually that bad it's like you just I like the soldier one kirko's the only one that's valid criticism the whole point was they should be doing better i i like the skins generally i do like the skins i just think for 20 dollars and for their first ever collaboration if they put the amount of effort and time and attention and detail they put into the doomfist skin It'd be a completely different story. Disagree with me, you're a bootlicker. It's like, bro. Think for yourself for once. I know it's tough sometimes. Ooh, I remember. And that's it. <laughs> he completely missed the point, dude. Let's go read some comments. So I basically replied to him. I said, thanks for the video. You know, it's all love at the end of the day, even if this video pissed me the fuck off, like my video pissed him the fuck off. Uh, I said, was just saying that they've done better things without ruining a figure and for their collab, not wanting to change a character too much. Doesn't really apply. Or it's something that uh, they can use an excuse for cutting corners or holding themselves back. When previous skins have done much more to the characters and still retain the hero's identity. Giving Kirigo a proper dress isn't going to ruin anything the same way giving her a witch hat didn't ruin anything. That's why I brought up the witch hat. I brought up the witch hat, and he's like, Prince. What, what are you talking about? Because <laughs> she has a hat? That no. was the point I was making, bro. I was like, if you give her a dress, it's the exact same as giving her a hat. People aren't going to be like, who's this lady in the dress? Is that a new character? Before they realize it's Kirigo throwing kunais at them. It'll take a split second. But, he's, but he might think of it from the competitive nature. Well, if you're playing competitively, blah, 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 blah. Players aren't going to remember that skin, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. So that's what pissed me off, bro. As for the brick skin, I, like, again, I mentioned it because of the special sounds. And then again, for their first collab ever, I wanted and expected more. They took two skins, put a new co coat of paint on it, and a wig and a helmet. And they're saying it's equivalent in terms of value as the Valentine's Hanzo skin. When there's clearly more time and attention and detail spent on Hanzo's, it's insane and super deflating. Like the Hanzo Valentine skin, they changed the ultimate sound effect. When he pulls back his bow, it's like a harp sound. When you look at one of the arrows on the ground, it's got like heart effects coming out of it. He has like a, I think he makes a sound when he jumps too, like his wings flutter or something like that. Like there's so much attention put into the Valentine's Hanzo skin. And then it's the exact same price as the Kiriko skin. That is a problem. There should be a set of rules for what makes a skin twenty dollars, but but no one. It's like I'm. It's like I'm. I'm the only one fucking shouting about this because no one else gives a shit or notices that Blizzard just marks the the nineteen hundred stamp on everything. So I just said they gotta do better. Is pretty much what I said. And then gotta love when flats take you so long to break down a bad TikTok that the whole video is just three highlights. Yeah. So this is a sixteen minute video, and I think he spent like what. She like over off like infinite the same give me a fucking dollar here's the deal we don't even have okay, no. money that's cutting corners 
also critiquing the One Punch Man. So, I so he video. spent like what? Two. He spent about like nine minutes on mine. So yeah, this is why Fortnite collabs are better. Yeah. How you doing, Pickle? You just missed me uh, ranting about flats missing the point. Be fair with the one. So 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 this guy said, uh, where was it? Got love when flats take so long to break down a bad TikTok. The whole video is just three highlights. And then you have 30 people replying saying, it wasn't even that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> to be honest, you could buy a bundle for $40. It's not a bad deal. $40 for some digital reskins. That's what I'm saying, bro. The price is up to $40 because they're saying the Kiriko skin is worth $20. It's not. It's just not. It's a recolor. It wasn't a bad take. Flash just didn't want to be harsh on Blizzard for their first crossover, I think. So that's why I don't I don't want to say he's like a shill, but I think he is a lot lighter on the Overwatch team than I am because I don't have that connection. It's not even a reskin. It's a recolor. They It's a recolor with a wig and they took off her leggings. That's what they did. They put on some new shoes, whatever. Uh, e even the concept art's the exact same, by the way. You guys want to see the concept art? I can show you guys the concept art. It's all internet cosmetics are overpriced. All internet cosmetics are overpriced. I mean, yeah, but I, I, I think, I, I, that's not true. But, um, value is whatever anyone wants to pay for it anyways. But I'm just saying there should be, if you're going to charge me $20 for it, the value should be clear. There should be a set of rules for what makes a skin $20, right? Um, like I said, how is Valentine Hanzo skin? worth twenty dollars but then the kiriko skin is also worth twenty dollars there's no rule set for how they price it so they're just making shit up as they go and stamping a price tag on it which is why i have the the problem with these skins and why i said they could be better they should be better but you're both wrong it's all arbitrary when you don't buy the skins it's luxury if you like they're worth if you don't then no one wins the argument true uh means i can't critique the game for bad monetization that's what i'm saying the monetization idea here is shit i said the game can't let violate violate it and go to be here for bad monetization so big egos in this comment the skin tiktok was not a bad take well the kiriko skin is very low effort even for a cosplay doomfist at least strongly resembles saitama kiriko just got a new wig kasamaki's dress would not have changed kiriko's overall character shape moomin rider soldier and genos genji are Genos, Genji are eh. Genji, Genji are decent, but even then, it's sort of hard to convince people they're worth the price. Blizzard should have done way more in the skin department for the collab, especially since this is basically all they did for it, other than the challenges. That's what I'm saying. They should have done way more. That's the whole point. I don't even know what they could have added to the Kiriko skin to make it not a reskin. They could have given her an actual dress. They could have given her uh, sleeves. They could have uh, made the part in the middle longer. Uh, they they could have done a lot. They could have done a lot. They could have given it um, special effects to it. So even if it was a reskin, at least it had something that made it unique. So the the thing is, they did change the color on her ultimate and like her effects, but it doesn't really matter because all the Overwatch League skins have the exact same thing they did to Tatsumaki's uh, skin, where you can change the fox color depending on your Overwatch League skin. So again, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it makes it less special when it's got things that other skins can do. And it's a collaboration skin. It should stand on its own. It should be unique. It should be worth the money. But it's a reskin and it does what other skins can do. So that's pretty shitty for $20. Uh, I already read some of these, but I, I don't know. It's mostly people fighting about it. Character shape thing makes no sense anyway. They say the skirt thing is what makes her character shape. Meanwhile, her athleisure skins don't have it at all. So yeah, even her new skins, like like they changed her with the legendary skin or whatever. Or the one punch character skin, giving her just a normal dress would not make it hard to tell who the character is. So it's quite valid to argue they were a bit lazy there. They were a bit lazy there. The guy's points were the skins. He proceeds to list change the character more than just giving Kiriko Tornado's dress with. That's exactly why I brought it up. But Flats missed the point and said, What? What? <laughs> what do you mean? What was it? What did he say? Oh, come on, bro. How are you going to say this is that much different? That's the point I was making. <laughs> he literally, that, that this is so funny because this is literally the point I was making. He, he speaks it out in anger, but he doesn't understand. He's literally making my point. How is that that much different? 
how would giving her a dress be that much different? So this is why, like, it pisses me off, but it's kind of funny because he's literally making my point. But <laughs> he's still got the same physique, the swords. He moves like, hello. Be a Power Ranger or Kirko to have a witch hat. Oh come on, bro! How are you gonna say this is that much different? Exactly, bro. Exactly. <laughs> He doesn't realize it, which it frustrates me because I hate when people like my point goes completely over someone's head. Short flats prove the TikTok's point that they could have done more with the skin and still be recognized in the game, but they were too lazy to do so. Yeah. All right, send clip talking about the laziest one punch man. I think he's referring to War Shorts. I, I like this. I don't remember exactly. Personally, very disappointed with the soldier skin, mostly the gun. Yeah, the gun was a carbon copy as well as the bug hero. Everything about the bug hero skin was a carbon copy. Prime example, this would be the mind skin from Moria to help provide an idea as to what I, ultimately TikTok creator, are talking about. So I know I do agree that it was wrong of the creator to try and weaponize his opinion like Flats points out when reading the comments. I don't know. People say it's weaponizing, but they, they didn't even watch the first TikTok where I laid out the points and then people still defended it. So again, I'm going to say, if I lay out the points that I like I did the first video, and you still don't understand it, and you're going to defend it, you are defending a multi-billion dollar company, and you're a shill, you're a bootlicker. That's how it is, bro. Spitting. Like, like, he didn't even watch the first video, and he's like, you're weaponizing it. I did bring up Fortnite, and some people did make the video, the, the, the opinion is like, well, it's a different game. It's not like Fortnite. I was like, fine, if you want to bring that, that argument up. But I'm just saying, like, th these are the reasons why. They've done it before. Like, whatever. Watch your last absolutely tear apart when he's not actually listening to what the guy's main point is. is absolutely hilarious. All he was saying is that there should have been more effort put into the skins considering how they modified characters in the past. The point totally flew over Flat's head. Say you're a Fortnite chill. Someone said I just wanted to be like Fortnite, and I would hate if Overwatch went the Fortnite route. I don't like the store in Fortnite because they always throw out shit that I want that I feel like I should buy, but ugh. but the battle pass in Fortnite's fine, I guess. I don't even play Fortnite anymore, but I still want to go and play the Attack on Titan event whenever that happens. Here goes should have been an epic skin. Nah, collab skins have more worth. Two more worth to it. But most people wouldn't consider a recolor robe and hair skin worth of a legendary. If that skin is literally recolored, then don't get it. It has a lot of worth to One Punch Man fans. It's not. I'm not getting it, but just saying it's worth a lot to One Punch fans. It's almost like saying they should stay lazy with making skins legendary tier and they have so little change. That's what I'm saying. That's that's the whole reason I make these videos, bro. If no one says anything and challenges the work effort they're putting into and then pro like doing it for $20, they're going to keep doing it. Should make Kirko's knives made from rocks. Flats vehemently angry over different skin silhouettes being used as an example for why the One Punch Man skins could have gone further while still preserving the silhouettes. Then proving the TikToker's point by saying he could still recognize the heroes in different skins. That's exactly what it. Yeah. Yeah, I like Flats, but that was an L from him, to be honest. Yeah, the point of the TikTok flew so far over his head. TikTok series started as haha fanny brain dead TikTok players who have no ideas, tips, and advice to a point where they're being more base than ever, especially with that one TikTok Flats misunderstood. I just feel so bad because I like Flats and it sucks that he watched my video and just fucking shat on it and completely missed the point. <laughs> it sucks, bro. I wouldn't be too hard to add, it wouldn't be too hard to add a sleeve textures for Kirko, but I guess that would immediately make her unreckon my Yeah, they <laughs> Yeah, if they added sleeves to the Kiriko Tatsumaki skin, I guess Flats would have no clue who it is, huh? <laughs> who the fuck is that with sleeves and the healing papers and moves and walks and talks just like Kiriko? She's got sleeves, bro. There's no way. <laughs> I think he doesn't want to be mean to the Overwatch devs since he actually talks to them. I think that's that's a big thing, dude. He doesn't want to be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Fuck you mean she has a skin with sleeves, but she has her 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 uh her staple dress, so you can tell it's Kiriko. But you take away the dress and give her sleeves, bro. No clue who the fuck that is, honestly, bro. Harsh and Blizzard for their first collab. I can't fully agree with Flats giving Kiriko sleeves and more of a dress doesn't make anyone unaware who she is. Also, I don't think he's aware they took the gun from the Battle Pass soldier skin and put it on a crossover. Fact is, 
it's a, the fact is it's a crossover should basically cut out the idea of reusing assets in my opinion. That's exactly where I'm coming from. It's their first ever crossover, and they reused assets on two of the skins. My opinion, since it's supposed to be really special, I also think crossover skins should be their own rarity, but that isn't that big. Either way, I think this is one time Flash is being overly protective of Blizzard, but I understand, because if we are too harsh, they may never do it again. Doesn't mean we can't critique, though, and the fact that he isn't aware that there are no special voice lines attached to the skins, or sound effects with Kirka only having a change of her fox being more turquoise. Yeah. Now Flats acts like because the main skin of the collab is fully unique, we can't criticize the rest. That guy wasn't getting flamed by Flats because his points were as effective as splashing water on a raging forest fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, we have Mythics. We could totally have spe specific crossover skins. I don't want them to put it in their own category because then it's going to give them a reason to charge th their own price for it. It's a crossover skin. All crossover skins, no matter how bad they are, are $20. Because Blizzard would totally use that as an excuse. I like them being like, this is a legendary skin. Ads coming up. I'm so sorry if you guys get an ad. Which sucks. Exclamation mark prime. Or hear me out. <laughs> or do the Fortnite thing. We make all crossover skins mythics. Then they'll charge you the price of a battle pass for it. Flats basically agreeing with the skins TikTok, but doesn't know it. They could have easily given Kiriko a much closer looking skin to Tatsumaki, but as it stands, they gave her legs, some black paint, and a wig. That shit should be an epic in Overwatch 1, but they called it legendary. Blizz has given her Blizz should could have given her a proper dress and some sleeves, and no one would be confused. That's what I'm saying. Like if they want to say we want it to be like you could tell Overwatch characters are cosplaying as is one punch man characters, why not give her the dress and then let her keep her headband that she has? Why not keep her kunais around her waist then? Why not keep her gloves? Why not mix the characters? Why not? Why reskin it and throw a wig on her and call it a cosplay? They could have done so much more, bruh. They could have done so much more. They're probably strapped. They're either strapped for time, they got lazy, or they don't have the talent to work on there. Because when you're watching the interviews from the Q&A, the, de the developers are talking. The developer literally says, uh, he's like... When I heard we were doing a One Punch Man skin, he's like, I dropped everything I could do. And he said, I want to work on the Doomfist skin. He's like, that's going to be my baby. Whatever I'm doing, I'm going to give it to other people. I'm going to go work on that Doomfist skin. And then you see the attention and time and effort. You see him build the skin up completely, which is why the Doomfist skin one is perfect. It's the best one of the bunch. So basically, like if that, if that mindset was put towards the other skins, no one would be complaining. I don't know. Here goes Andrew at least a bit of custom sculpt. I understand want to retain the design attributes of the hero, but charging nineteen dollars for what is essentially a fancy recolor is horrible. Soldier's a recolor, but it's not super obvious and works well with the design of Moon Rider. Has there issues with that skin? But I can never get over how Kiriko's skin looks. Why didn't he just do all of them? I don't know. Maybe it was a time thing, dude. But that's that's another thing. I don't understand how it could have been a time thing. One Punch Man season three. Do you think it just get announced? Maybe that's why. Maybe they wanted to have this collaboration in line with One Punch Man Season 3's trailer. They could have delayed it. I don't know how scheduling works. Scheduling work with big companies is fucking awful. But they literally described it as, yeah, when we were on the phone, we both teams seemed really excited about it. So I don't know. I, I feel like they totally could have gotten the extra time they needed to flush it out. But that's like... That's just whatever. The The point stands. The product that we did get isn't as good as what it could have been. And especially when you compare it to Doomfist. Oh, well, actually, that's a pretty unique to mistake for someone else. Especially tanks. Like, there's only one motherfucker in the game with a massive hammer. Yeah. He's not saying those skins aren't wrecking well. He's saying making the heroes more like One Punch Man wouldn't hurt them. Yeah. I don't know. It just makes me sad that he missed the point and then, like, he shat all over the video. And then it's nice to see the comments are backing me up, though. For the most part, most of these comments are backing me up. I don't see Saitama getting shit on by No Life Soldier main in Season 3. 
Again, the character were not having much effort, but there wasn't too much they could do. What do you mean there wasn't too much they could do? Again, go look at the BlizzCon skins. Go look at the, the StarCraft skins. There is so much they could do. I, I Again, I'm probably being a bit too harsh, but they probably lost the talent who did do the skins previously. But, but like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? I think, you, I think you didn't get his point too well. He used the convenient dress for Kiriko instead of recalling the normal one. That's just one of the examples. I, I, this is like, I, this is like getting hit with a, in the head with a bucket, bro. Like, yeah, no, he didn't understand the point at all. Why are you crying, Jackie? Uh, I get the witch hat Kiriko and the one Ash skin confused that they're both on the other team. Well, that's in the game. People get that confused. So, so what's that mean? So according to Flash, giving Kiriko sleeves and a longer dress thing would make Kiriko unrecognizable. That's what he's saying. Flats is trolling with his skin takes. Flat skin part actually made me kind of mad. He's talking about the silhouette. One great example you can make is Genji's flowing scarf, which is replicated on every skin except the later ones, which for me breaks the silhouette. Second video guy was right. He's a bit harsh, but I do agree that they could have put more effort into Kiriko's skin. Soldier's fine because it makes sense, that being a cosplay. Soldier would just spray his armor another color and put on a beanie and call it a day. I guess that's fair. It would have been actually hilarious if the color was badly applied. You can see the original underneath in spots. But Kiriko's? Yeah, could put a bit more effort. Just taking the huge obi, obi away. Obi? Is that the, the thing around her? Would have taken, would have done wonders. And also in the photos of the skin, the hair looks like it's glowing and half transparent. Should have done something about that because I definitely want into the game. I went into the game expecting it to look like that, and it didn't. It's a huge disappointment. I'm not a fan of One Punch Man, so I don't know if the OG character's hair glows or not. It's not about the other skins. It's not about the other skins he's showing, making the silhouette of the characters unrecognizable. Uh, unrecognizable flats. It's perfectly showing that with how many changes were made to them, it does it. And no, I don't want to pay forty dollars for the bundle when I only want one skin. Also, bundles are discounts. The price for each skin. Have to make sense individually. <laughs> it does. Didge. I just say I confuse Kiriko and Smetra sometimes. The skins kind of blend over. Yeah, I don't know about that. What were the skins? If they did better for the One Punch Man, it wouldn't be any different than any of the other ones. That's what I'm saying. You were saying to me the first time I saw the Nova skin, I thought it was for Mercy. This is the one I was talking about. First time I saw the Nova skin, I thought it was for Mercy. Then two seconds later, I learned the truth when I found myself back in Spawn. <laughs> My man got fucking domed. He was like, okay, that's a Widow skin. And then you never forget. Every time you see Blonde Widow from there on out, or the blonde in the back standing up, barely moving and walking, you know that's a Widow. Like, that's another thing. It's like people with intelligence are insulted, bruh. You just oh who who the fuck is that with the sleeves? That's not Kiriko. Oh, that is Kiriko. She killed me. And then it's like you're gonna forget her. I feel like if you gave me three days a notebook and a pen, I could do better crossover designs. I'm sure people could draw better crossover designs. I know modeling's harder, and if they were on a time crunch, that's probably even harder. But I definitely think they could have done a better design with the crossover for Kiriko and Soldier. They just got lazy with, but. Soldier's like soldier's not the point I'm making. Like soldier soldier's a part of it. Like, why couldn't they just give us something different? Why did they have to recolor it? But that's the free one, so who cares? But but Kiriko, you're gonna tell me it's the exact same price as Cupid Hanzo? And his his response to it was just buy the bundle. <laughs> it's worth it, bro. Just buy the bundle. I can't, bro. I think he missed the point. I think he was seeing too much red. Characters are supposed to be cosplaying. Those characters should be easily identified in the game. My problem with Kirko's skin is that it's $25 plus. Dollars. Should be getting more than a wig and a reskin. Yeah. Alright, we're done. We're done. We're done. I, I, I'm glad the comments are shitting all over him. Just buy the bundle. Hashtag ad. Hashtag Overwatch partner. Head ass. He missed the point completely, bro.
I was completely right. Yeah, I like this one earlier. All right. Let's go. Uh, I did say I was going to play Overwatch. I don't want to play Overwatch anymore. So let's go play Flunkin's game for a bit. It's nice that he reacted to my video. and That might have been why it blew up as much as it did. But he definitely missed the mark. Like, he, he absolutely missed the mark, bro. That's cool. He's reacting to a couple of my videos. So I guess my TikToks do kind of get around, which is nice. Why are you whining, Jackie? There's like three games. Which one? There's only one game, Flunkin'. You told me you wanted to play balloons today, right, Flunkin? <laughs> she wanted me to play, right, Flunkin? Jackie, they're not here. Stop. You're wrong for that. Yeah, my bad. Man, I, I'm so upset. I got myself heated at Flat's video. He got heated, and that made me heated. I watched it earlier, and I didn't get upset. I was just like, oh, man, he missed the point. And then when I started, like, ex like who the fuck am I explaining myself to? You guys are on my side. <laughs> He's never going to see that shit. Unless I make a response on TikTok, might be some of those, ooh, how sweet TikTok views, bro. I'm barely on your side. You're on the side of why do you play the game if you don't like it. Do I play this with controller or what? Wes, are you here? Can you change it to Hi-Fi? And, uh, controller. If this game sucks, Flunkin', you never recommend a game ever again, respectfully. About input latency? What are they talking about? That's a good deal. I'll take that deal. Japanese voices? Change it to whatever you want, Wes. I'm gonna go uh, see what my dog's whining about. I, I think she thinks my family's home. They're not home yet. I'm back. Why can't I know Japanese, bro? Flower was here and then left. Yeah, Flower didn't give a shit. Respectfully. Go to fucking English. Yeah, she gets it. Yeah, fire on your shit. Enable streamer mode. We work with music artists to create a streamer mode. 
to enable streamers and content creators to stream and post their gameplay with a low risk of claims. Sure. I know, pussy. No, I just do normal. I don't give a shit. I'll go hard. I'm trying to enjoy this game, Flunkin. I'm not trying to be a sweaty nerd like you, respectfully. That robot's a whole ass mood. Profession rock star. Future rock star. <laughs> this is cringe. Are you done? Cringy. Uh, yes. Uh, whatever. Here's your project Armstrong Pad. Lucille's base. And welcome to that. Robot's campus. base, exactly, Flower. Yes. Even though you don't give a shit. We on the same vibe, bro. I respect it, Flower. I respect it. We create better lives. Androids! Edna. Cybernix! The CEO of Vandalay Technologies! Scale Vandalay! It's like what cell shading and animation. Day. It's great. You're the best of the best. And about to be even better. It reminds me of Handsome Thanks Jack. our robot enhancements. Vandalay has always been about helping those in need. And you all in Project Armstrong are about to show the world just how special you can become. Now go, get ready for a better life. Uh, 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 I'm with him. Special pass here. Uh, I think they just called my name. Man just cheated. My man just put. He cut everyone in line like a piece of shit. Promised me the best of the best, Mimosa. Production of Mimosa for test uh, subjects, Kale. Marketing delivered. Don't pin it on Rekka. Tell that grandstander Zanzo in R and D. We need people with influence, and you're giving me losers. It'll work. It better. No slip-ups. He called me loser. And no defects. He took my music. What a piece of junk. <laughs> He got, he got the MP3 shoved into his chest. He 
confused with technology. So what happened? What happened to me? What happened? What happened, guys? Am I chilling? Yo, I got a new arm. Shoot. An error has occurred. Please proceed to the checkpoint. Shoot. Okay, checkpoints. Where's that? Ah, don't worry. Probably no big deal. Damn, look at me. Did you come to check out what a great job I did stacking these boxes? Well, you did do a good job places. stacking those boxes, it's brother. So 180 degrees. Nice. It's been like an old Spider-Man game movement. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like a beat em up, like one of those adventure like Spider-Man beat em up games. Yo, I do be jumping. Watch, watch this. Oh, my man just casually be jumping. Fucking a whole ass story. Heal up. Consume energy drinks to restore Chai's health. His name's Chai. Do they do the Dragon Ball thing and name every single person after a drink? After a food. What was her name? Her name was Mimosa, Chai. What was the other two names? You got Have a Nice Debt? Let me know if it's any good, brother. So fun. Reminds me of Benton Game I used to play as a child. Kale. Kale. Damn, you'll be dropping boxes, bro. It's okay, I can parkour. Please collect your belongings. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, time to get out of these clothes. Oh, jeez. I don't like. I would never do that with my shoes, bro. It ruins them. It ruins them, bro. Wow. <laughs> hey. All right, kid. It's the magnetic arm, LX plus twenty-five, magnetic waste management of picture. Wait, magnetic waste management? We're a foreign object, morning. Looks like a defect. Take him in. Oh, I'm gonna beat him up. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's resisting. Wait, what? My man just had a heart attack. Bro wants to be Tony Stark so badly. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like, uh, just like one of the old Spider-Man games, bro. Almost. Okay. You feel accepting his destiny so on? easily, bro? If 
Or what if that thing runs out of charge? Is he dead? Music player in my chest. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Second, it's powering up my new robot arm. Third, it's making everything sync up with the beat. And this sounds ridiculous. When the music kicks in, it feels like, like, like I'm on a stage. <gasps> Pause the music, he dies. Whoa. Training dummy. All right, everyone. Ready for something wild? Whoa. Chai's here. And his attack sync up with the music. You all want to see it in action? Let's start with a light attack. A one beat attack that quickly connects combos. Go ahead. Try it out. Man, I gotta sync the music, bro. Now try a combo in beat to the music. This will be what perfect timing feels like. What the fuck? One, two, three, go. Oh. Uh, one more time. That's the top one was supposed to be me. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Your attacks always land on the beat. But press the I got no rhythm, bro. On the beat to give bonuses in battle. Looks like you're ready for more. Head on over. How about delivering some real damage? The heavy attack. Oh boy. So listen carefully for the beat in the middle. The beat in I the middle. This. What the fuck? Alright. Now try out a heavy combo in rhythm. This is the kind of timing to aim for. Nah, bro. I ain't doing none of this rhythm shit, bro. I'm gonna spam buttons. Ooh, yeah. And the crowd goes wild. Attaboy. <laughs> Attaboy. Is this the guy? <laughs> Get on this guy. Thank you. See the guy that did this? That's the defect. What? No, 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 no! I, I was just. Well, here we go. You can't spam. He still texts the beat, really. <laughs> there you go, I gotta be, bro. Easy. I guess, dude. I've been telling you you game pass for fucking ever, Flower. You fake. You fake, bro. Honestly, I don't wanna be that guy. Yes, it's on game pass. I don't be that guy and call you fake, Flower, but you fake. You only get it when I want to. Fake. Hello, big monster production record here. And what's this I hear about a DD that's running wild in record zone? Anyone? DD kid. Run around. Record watching. 
Clearly not someone I want to run into. Hmm. Hmm. Hello there. Can I be of assistance? No. If you need help, don't hesitate to chat. Fuck you. Like it released the day after it was announced, and it never got leaked at all. Crazy everything moves to the beat. My dude is gonna be crazy for the rest of his life. <laughs> what is that melody? What's the defect? Looks suspicious. Could it be? Hey! You looking for me? Get him! Try and catch this. Fucking wrecked, stupid idiot goofy! And he's like, now, what photo looks like Shaggy? This looks like Shaggy to you? And now, what am I supposed to do? Hey! You alright? Thanks for helping my cat! Need a hand? Who the fuck are you? Looking to get out of here! Well, that might be something I can handle if you. Hey! Yelling like this is awkward! Can you speed this up? Fine. Is that Clementine's voice actor? Man, Project Armstrong turned out to be a real bummer. Well, can, can you look up whoever this character is, who the voice actor is, actress? Fuck you. This is a fun game. Just turn your brain off and play. Such a good idea. Good, you made it. Down here. All right, so I'll keep this quick. The cat can talk. Uh, <gasps> I saw you fight back there. I think we might be able to help each other. I thought security's all over you, which I could help you with. <gasps> Stop. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was you back there. You're a cat. No, this is Ada. Wick. She is a cat, but I built her. Look. Like I was saying, you know, I thought my music robot arm power was crazy, but this is, um, probably better off by myself. Dude, listen, Vandalay's up to something, and I said I can help. Thanks, but I'm good. Yes, I swear to God, that's Clementine. The fuck just happened? Post synchronized. What the fuck? It's not responding. What did you do? Oh, hold on. Did you just feel that? That beat? I think we got something here. Look who's back. Andy's got a friend. Thanks to 808, Chai's got a new skill up his sleeve a beat hit. A it's a timing-based bonus attack at the end of a combo. On the last hit, watch for the timing circle and press any attack button to land it. Still in the tutorial part, huh? Talk is cheap. Let's try it out. Yes, now I won't suck as much because it shows you the beat. I guess so, dude. Listen to the countdown or look for the two circles overlapping to nail perfect timing. Try a beat hit with your heavy combo. You're on your own with this one. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, bro. Found your head or some shit while playing, bro. I don't want rhythm, bro. I'll just get a, a an AI that does it for me, bro. And not play the game. Wanted to help, right? Don't worry, it's just till I get out of here. Uh, you better not run off with her. I'm stealing your cat, lady. Shoo! He's a bitch, yes? Fuck you, Flunky. Bring it on. How my man's ankles not break? Aren't so bad after all. Okay. Remind me to ask you later how you did all that. Like I know. Anyway, your turn. I need to get out of wherever I am. You're in production, and the only direct exit is through quality assurance. We're in you production, bro. So many buildings. It's hard to tell. It's the one that literally Open World QA Center on it. Oh yeah, that one. But with that way out, they're probably expecting you, so you had me at way out. Let's go. No, okay. Being cocky isn't gonna get you out of here. Uh, the best solution is the most obvious. That's wrong and terrible advice. You're wanted. We need to outsmart them. Well, then I'll fight my way out. Are you an idiot? That's literally the opposite of outsmarting them. Do you jump higher on the beat? Is that how this goes? Dead. Is that why I missed that? Because I wasn't jumping on the beat? Rick, I hear this is important. So all caps this time. Because it's silly and Rick knows all you grimy grease hands are fixing your nuts and bolts to get things working. But Rick, 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 wants this place shining on Armstrong Day. Someone spell check those Armstrong scanners. Hear that voice? That's the crowd cheering when those Armstrong units are pumping out to the public. When Rick gets her nice bonus at the end of this fiscal, Rick will be sure to check name check you all in that millisecond before Rick kicks back and gives herself a round of applause. Sure. They just faster on the beat. I'm telling you, that was kale in the flesh. You don't even have flesh. You wouldn't know. Actually, being in production, does that count that I met him? No, it doesn't. So get over it and let's fix this staircase. Yeah, fix the fucking staircase, guys. Come on now. Just be fucking lazy. I'm go. Sure.
Flower, even if you don't want to play this game, you should still get Game Pass. Honestly, bro. We should do an art stream tomorrow. Side scroller. Yeah, sure. Whoa, this campus is huge. It's more like a city. The perks of being the world's leading tech company. Vandalay likes to show off. But I'm looking for what they're hiding. Oh, you like digging up secrets. How about telling me your name? If it took you this long to ask, you can wait a bit longer. Damn, shy, true. Way. Chai? All right then. Got an art stream. Got an air dodge. Damn, my dude just keeps taking all kinds of abuse, bro. So far, I'm, I mean, this game's cool, cool concept, not really feeling it yet. Common Yesh L, I don't like the protagonist. Gameplay so far is kind of whatever. Hopefully it improves itself in a little bit. Battery production activated. Don't touch the red lasers. Obviously. I lived the opposite actually. It feels like I'm powered up. 808 is showing me you've got a lot of energy stored up in your arm. How about letting it out? Yo, give me a cannon. Please don't explode. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wrecker wants them wasted. So let's waste them. I like you abusing smidge? I don't know who the fuck that is. There's another just rhythm based DMC, I guess. Bro, my boy can jump over this. What are you talking about, game? I just killed it. Yes, you murdered it. I guess. Busted. Could you fix it? Any tools nearby? Tools? <laughs> I got a better idea. Yo. Yeah. My man, my man can do everything, bro. Blew it. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to get angry. 
it won't happen again. But it's going to be time. Um. Oh. Ow. You hold us bully? Not me, bro. Reminder. Sick days must be registered six months before desired date. Yo, can I do like some shenanigans right here, bro? Sick days for robotic employees will not be approved. I swear I can do this. I always find it funny the same people made the evil within. Did they? I must uh... I mean this is a Bethesda game, right? I'm getting invisible wall, bro. Our flower, get it right now. But you can never ask me for anything ever again. Period. Well, yes, I said, I said, I'll get, I'll do it right now, but you can never ask me for anything ever again. Did you just buy a fucking broadsword, bro? My man bought a whole ass broadsword. My man's talking about how he's gonna spend like his whole paycheck on it, bro. Looks like he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> he's like, it's basically gonna be my whole paycheck, but I want it. And I was like, man, do whatever makes you happy. This was like fucking six months ago, though, bro. What the fuck? My man must have been eyeballing it for a while. Or he said something like the the company like they they don't do like they like it's like a real sword or some shit. I can't remember. He said they uh what was it? They um they do special order or some shit. Or like if they sell out then they have to like restock. Hey, okay, why can't I see any of the chats in Discord? Yeah, on your old one, did you re-verify? I've got like three channels. Re-verify, my man. The Discord completely changed because someone like fucking hacked into the Minecraft server and nuked uh, the houses. So I basically completely wiped the roles in the Discord server. 
to clean up any of the because we had a lot of people who I think what I think was I think someone malicious got into the Discord server with um with uh they knew we were doing Minecraft and they came and just nuked the fucking server. They threw they burned down a, a house or something. Well, it was on my birthday. I remember too. I was going out to my birthday dinner. Fucking crazy. So you should be back in. Just click the fucking verify. So there's like fucking 60 something people. Yeah, you did. You still don't see anything. You should see stuff now. I was so confused. Did you even read the rules? Motherfucker. Did you even look around before you was like, what the fuck? How long have you been sitting with this problem, Lotus? How long have you been sitting with this problem, bro? Read! <laughs> Read! <laughs> My dude's probably been like, bro, it's been like a week. I still can't see the server. I'll deal with it later. Two weeks? Oh, you fucker. It was right there! It was right there! <laughs> Literally in the intro. Oh, oh! You son of a bitch. Dolphin's going to Steam. I feel like that's going to have legal issues for Steam that they don't actually want. It's part of the reason why Steam needs to actually vet the fucking shit they put on. I guarantee you there's going to be people like Nintendo and maybe PlayStation are going to get pissed that people are playing fucking... Emulated games off a of dolphin. Would I have built it online? Probably not. I don't know. I'm only use it for seeing when you go live. Oh, then you only really need the amount. You need to verify then, I guess. All right, let me get to adding this fucking emoji, bro. Since Flower been like, you need to get it. Ooh, get it. Hurry it, bro. How should I have it spelled, bro? Same way it's spelled in the Discord. Easier way. So capital P, Pepe, and then capital P. Here it. Okay. Or just no Pepe, just just straight up period. Okay. Now I gotta go to better Twitch or something. Throw it in there. No Pepe, because who the fuck types period? I guess, dude. There you go. Pirit has been added, bro. Just let me turn off chat. Give it a second. I'm going to kill autocorrect. 
Oh, finally, I guess, bro. There you go, it's back. Let me refresh my stream too real quick, or my, my Twitch. Hear it! <laughs> Is all right in the world now, dude? Yes. <laughs> dude. All right. Hey, now I can hate this emote in both Discord and Twitch. I guess so, dude. I think it's funny. I like it. I guess we're gonna get rid of the Katie ones and just go full out on Teddy emotes. We gotta do the Miku Ted for Reyna. Talking to robots instead of abusing them? Nah, I'm all about that robot violence. Rhythm games are too hard. I want to relax, but I'll get back. Hey, these rhythm games are too hard. I just want to relax, bro. I don't want to be focusing on the rhythm. How about combining those heavy and light attacks for even more combos and beat hits? Now's the time to try it out. <laughs> Almost out of here. Thank you, sweaty sandwiches. Hopefully you had a good stream. Can I turn off the- Hey! 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 Thanks for the raid, Mr. Sweat. I think it sounds better. I missed my, hey, hey, hey. You really need to hear the, hey, every 10 seconds flunking, fine. I'll lower it though. Was easy. That's fate, idiot. They're clearly expecting you. With what? Nothing I can't handle. Makes you feel more hype? I don't agree. 
hearing hey, hey, for probably the next six hours isn't on my list of things. You must disapprove of my work. Yes, I do not. Please, I have work to do. I want to knock this guy over. Not bully though, not bully, no. See, just like I thought. It's fine. You need to relax. Introducing the head of production. Damn, it's like WWE. Oh no. There you are, young man. Messing with Reckless. Gonna crew. dishes? Go look at the dishes. Production. And worst of all, yeah, Rick is perfect. No defects record. Your security tried to kill me. Project Armstrong, EULA. Fine. Print. Should have read it, punk. Defects get recalled. Uh, recalled? You mean killed? Wrecker ain't pit the burbs. That's for the mooks in marketing. Mm. Anyway, thanks for being dumb enough to just waltz in here. Wrecker ain't gotta get her hands dirty. I told you. Welcome to the Project Armstrong Defect Check, honey. Our QA is the best in the business. Hey uh, oh, I'm just game flunking. Yeah, come, coming out of your hand. Boom. Ow. 
The Angie. to die. Both his eyes. Does that literally say weak point on the board? By design, seek for itself. What the fuck is this? It's on Game Pass. It's a uh, Hi-Fi Rush. It's a rhythm-based game. So you'll notice everything is moving to the rhythm. I fuck up the rhythm though. Fucked up the rhythm really badly. Super Saiyan, bro. Serious mode. French Bulldog named Munchkin, a little chubby, jokingly calling him a little fat ass, jokingly. Kind of looking at me with regrets, living with me. My other dog Duncan's looking at me like you started this. I, I I see, I see. Just got here. Are we naming it tonight, brother? Bozo. I guess so, dude. Imagine not having rhythm. Rhythms for musicians? And I am not one of them. I'm down. Didn't all the boys say they were getting on?
Ow. Why don't you so we can play Crackdown 3? It's on Game Pass? Don't you ever say it to me ever again. I'm not playing Terry Crews. You right, download Ring. Fuck Ring 2. Can't believe you guys ever liked that game. <laughs> the additional like Crackdown 3? Find me a sane person who does. And then I can block them and ban them forever. Wait one second, guys. My dog's whining. Give me one second. Is Crackdown 3 still actually on Game Pass? Like, is it actually? Crackdown 3 was so bad. Spam all when he gets back. Don't spam shit. Check Game Pass right now. Is it on there still? I thought they removed it because they were embarrassed by it. No, it's still there. Yeah, Crackdown 3 wasn't good. I knew it was going to be bad with the amount of times it was delayed, but man, that game was bad. Yeah. Took all the good things about Crackdown and ruined it. About to die right before the boss. Ah! Hey, should you just hit when he idles? I guess so. Another quick time event. You got a killer track. But every song's gotta end. Wow. The artwork in this game is fucking sick though, dude. Give me an upgrade for killing him. Give me an upgrade. There are a lot of front air fucking mods that made me quit. Some of them were just bad. Not sure which is which sandwiches. Did you see that? Yeah, 
yeah. But this time, just shut up and follow me. What's your Ben F on God? They're just jealous and better than you. No complaining this time. All right, all right. <laughs> Okay, Flunkin, you'll get on my level one of these days, bro. Are you scared? What? No. Uh, I mean, it is a little dark. Uh, hey, there are no spiders down here, right? Uh, like, robot spiders? Oh, please don't let there be robot spiders. Huh? Oh, this game. In here. It's a little boring. Respectfully. I'm sure watching all the cutscenes, like if you just if you just sat back and watched like all the cutscenes, I'm sure you'd enjoy this game as like a movie, bro. Not digging the gameplay yet. A rope snare? What are you? Cartoon character? So that's where the magic happens, huh? We brought back the cat. My name is Peppermint. Wait. Peppermint. Oh, <gasps> You're the cat. 808 is my eyes and ears out there. But it looks like she's taken a liking to you. I'm telling you, I feel like that's Clementine's voice okay, actress. She's yours. Bro. she's yours. I gotta look it up. Get up, slacker. We've got work to do. Uh, Where have I heard that voice hey, before, bro? 808 said you said you were gonna help me get out of here. I am. Right after you help me look into Spectra. I don't even know what that is. Don't expect you to. This is whistleblower level. So bad? Yes. And I'm working with a team to expose them. We're small, but small meaning just you and your cats. I'm bigger than this. Says Rockstar here. Do you even actually play guitar? I. Well, he got into the rock star. Doesn't even play guitar. What the fuck? This dude's cringe um, as fuck. Look, this campus is a maze of hallways, lifts, and dead ends, filled with security. You'll need my help to get out of here. Nah. So far, I've done pretty. Huh. Hmm. Horrible. If it wasn't for me, look. If you help me, I'll make sure. How old is our protagonist? Fine. Whatever, I guess. Perfect. There's some downtime between missions to hide up, head up, relax for the next mission, or just taking the vibe as your adventure continues. More points of interest will be added. Here takes the title of ground. In his 20s, probably. Interact points. Yeah, okay. This is your hideout? You really are a small operation. Well, now we're plus one. You can rest on that sofa. Luxury suite, I see. By the way, I may be able to help you out with some upgrades if you have upgrades. Maybe the game will get better. Head out. All right, what the fuck was her name? Peppermint. Erica Lindbeck. Where the fuck is she from, dude? Where have I heard her from? Is she Luna? That's where I know her from. From fucking, uh, she's in a lot though. Like a lot, a lot. But that's where I remember her from recently, bruh. From, uh, that one cartoon show. What this is Hi-Fi Rush. It's a rhythm game. She's in a lot, bruh. What's her most noticeable role? Is it is it Luna from fucking uh, Chick Chai's? She's in Fire Emblem, Midnight Suns, God of War Ragnarok. Oh, she's from Dragon Ball Super. She plays the freaking green chick too. That's maybe where I know her from, bro. Look at that voice actor. It's been a while. How y'all been? We chilling. Apparently we gaming tonight. Jerome should be in the chat, or he was. Any other notable roles? 
She's Blaze the Cat. She's Ochako or Ochacho, the, the freaking little blue things in the Sonic Olympic Games. I think that's where I know her from. She's the freaking green chicken Dragon Ball, dude. The Fortnite robot. She's got some big roles. This lady gets around, bro. You want to check Chai's voice actor? Oops. Robbie Damon. He's probably all over the fucking place, dude. Robbie Damon. He was on Critical Role? Damn. This lady gets around. I mean, like that flunking. Calm yourself. Let's see. This guy's Chai. He plays Kinshiro and Fish of the North Star. I feel like I've heard him from something else, but I don't know. Maybe we're wrong. I don't watch dub anime, so I wouldn't have heard him anything else. If he's in a video game, I'll hear him. This is a big role, Hori Jin. See anyone in a video game, bro? Grief? No. He's <laughs> Lego Lego Marvel. I don't know, bro. Oh, having Mitsuki is probably a big role. Mitsuki? Mitsuki? Whatever. Just Cause 4. Oscar. He played Professor Willow in a Pokemon Go short. What the hell? He's Spider-Man. Is he Spider-Man? He is. Marvel Powers United VR. Uh. Uh. Walking Dead, the final season. Mitch, I didn't play the final season. Maybe that's why I heard him for him. He's literally Spider-Man, bro. What the fuck? He even played Bully. <laughs> bully number one was my favorite role he's ever had. So he's literally spider That's probably where I've heard him from before, dude. One Punch Man, Moomin Rider. Alright, I'm good. Back to the rhythm game that I suck at. Actually, let me check Twitter real quick, bro. Oh, God, bro. That's true. You just suck balls. Well, I'm not having fun with the gameplay, too, but yeah. But yeah. Yo, yeah. there's nothing going on Twitter. Twitter's still broken for me today. Welp. Back to whatever this is. You upgrade me, bruh. I'm not the master of Vandalay tech, but with some gears, I may be able to give you a bit more fight. More yes. Work. Upgrade me. I set up a shop for you. Yep, okay. Here you can learn new attacks. Yep, you can use them I get it. Attack, special them. attacks, it's, it's... Here's your yep. chance to learn new special attacks. Each attack requires a certain amount of reverb gauge, so make sure you have enough before buying. Also, special attacks need to be equipped. You can't just use them all. Why is everyone doing April Fool's Day shit when it's tomorrow? Because you got to get it set up for today. Like, Overwatch has some April Fool's shit I want to go into. I see. So, I'll just slot in my attack, and I'm good to go. 
And finally, here are items. For I would love to do some upgrade. April Fool's Day What's shit this? tomorrow. Or play. It don't work like that. Well, shut up. Let's just say you don't work like that. Still in free throw. How are you Goofy? doing all this with gears? Don't underestimate me. I can do more than you think. All right. Let me see what you got. Life gauge. Sure, extra life. I don't care, bro. It's true, I don't have rhythm. What is this? Can I play as multiple characters? Presser slam, dude. Shy's thoughts play with eight oh eight, play with Dikiti. So tell me. Do you like me or peppermint more? Maybe the key. Oh. You can sell moves. I guess you can, bro. That's pretty cool. Man, what have I gotten? Well, at least it'll be a cool story to tell in five years. Next stage. Okay. I'm bored. More peppermint. All right. Mission report. So this Spectra program is, like I said, top secret. And only the top brass of the company have info. It feels like a combination of like a, one of the older Spider-Man games and like a comic book. Like like I'm reading like a comic or playing like a comic book like film. We're gonna go back up to the production facility. Using my skills and your powers, we break into the production head's office. That's Rekka. And with our luck, she's busy. You know how you can get rid of ads, Slunkin? Exclamation mark Prime. Consider subscribing to the Twitch channel. Yeah, Amazon Prime connect to your Twitch. You get one free subscription to use to any stream of your choice. It doesn't have to be me. But make sure you connect your account take advantage of those benefits. Exclamation mark Prime. What? You are coming? On a mission this dangerous? I'm not that stupid. I'll leave that to you. All right. Wait. Are you implying... I'm here. Yeah, we're back. Who are you talking to? Huh? Uh. Just head to Rekka's office. You can see it up there. Pretty high up. You'll have to head through the main production building, but I'll be your guide. Try to keep a low profile. Come on, 808. Let's have some fun. Rage out on the vending machines. At least you'll get something out of it. Hey, there's Kale. And that's what's her name? The old Vandalay boss. Uh, Roxanne Vandalay? Are you serious, Chai? She built the company from the ground up. Know your history. Jeez, you don't need to yell. Uh, just give credit where it's due. No. Not talking.
Press select. Oh, I heard my doggy. I guess that's pretty cool. Give me one second. I think my food's here. Alright, back. Um, I might just end the stream early and go play with the boys. Eat some food real quick. Hmm. We'll see. You were here, Strudel? Oh, sounds juicy. I thought you said she wouldn't be here. I thought you said this was more fun. I said I'm thinking about ending and just going and eating. Job. I think he's the first person I've watched that said the gameplay isn't fun. It's fun, but I've played other games like it before that don't have the uh, rhythm thing involved. Nothing really somewhat negative about the game. I'm just not entertained by it. I don't think it's a bad game. I'm just I'm currently not invested in it. I like the art style. CLs I follow for? I guess so, dude. Oh, 
I just played this game and didn't focus on the rhythm, would that piss you off, bro? Bad news for your pride, but you won't make that jump. Any ideas? I think we'll pick this up tomorrow. Well, I don't know. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Can I save right here? No, not really. Oh, he can grappling hook now, dude? What the fuck? That was awesome. Spider-Man? He actually is Spider-Man. Alright, I'll pick this up tomorrow. I don't know where it's gonna leave me off, but I'll pick this up tomorrow. I just don't like you saying... Just don't like you saying anything negative about it. Also, it all saves cool. I don't know. It's not negative. I just... I'm currently not invested. I want the gameplay to open up a bit. So, we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for being here. It was fun. It was fun. I'm gonna go eat some some nuggies and uh relax for the night play with the boys you guys will take care have a good rest of the night i appreciate you it was fun it was fun mostly ranted ranted for about 40 minutes on the overwatch thing and then played the rest of this so tomorrow hopefully maybe get an isaac run in and then play the rest of this or play some more of this all right you guys take care have a good one peace